Oh, oh, we are back. Um, we oh. took a long, oh. long, long oh. break, and we are back for sure. Right. Um, why did we take a long break? I'm Jake, by the way. Okay. So, Me? Uh, uh, Raph, uh, and, and there's, yeah. there is a guy to my left. We'll call him Paul. We'll call him Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Raph. But we are back for sure. I don't to speak my name anymore. <laughs> um, those of you that may have followed us, you, which is probably one, and that's probably me. I don't think anybody else will. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're quite welcome. You're I appreciate quite welcome. it. I didn't, I didn't think we'd be an actual fan. That's but, so um, either. the content is not online anymore, and that's just temporarily. Um, it's going to be all in like one big old batch of, of things. And the reason why is because we kind of <laughs> like, we kind of like, um, did like a year trial run type deal, you know. Um, we started last June, I guess, just to see how this will be received and, you know, filter out all the bad things, you know, that we did and all the, you know, keep all the good things that we did, um, which were very few. But um, now there's going to be a set schedule. Um, you guys can, you know, chime in on this at all. I, I, you know, I mean, I'm not saying, oh, I'm saying that we're having a set schedule. It's like, it's kind of like something we all agreed on. Just a little bit more uniform, I guess you could say. But, uh, and life has been a little more uh, calmer, I think, for the rest of us. Not as chaotic past year. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. But um, today, mm -hmm. we are uh, not going to have no intro music because we're still working on that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you'll see some things kind of like being a little bit more professionally done. Um, yeah, I guess you could say, <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of which you talk about that, like, well, we, uh, we went to comic palooza and, yeah. uh, the three of us and for starters, we went to a, um, what was it called? It was, a, it was a shop or photo, no, Photoshop. <laughs> A workshop, I guess you would say. Oh yes, yes. The class, yeah, yeah, for beginners and people looking to yeah. get into. Yeah, let's put it this way: like uh, we were further ahead than we thought we were. Yes, we were. Um, and, yeah, As a matter of fact, we were schooling them. Not to say we're bragging like we're pros or anything, but we're just a lot further ahead than we thought. And I didn't think we were ahead at all. I thought yeah. I thought we were behind. No, we we're yeah. We have a lot of good things together. As much as pressure and the only um, thing that we're missing are fans or li fans. subscribers. Yeah, because our setup is good. It's well, the audio and everything, the editing, it's fucking up there. Yeah, that's all because of one man, not because of many of us. I'm gonna um, beat this man, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, it, it just cracked me up, though, like a lot of people, uh, well, especially like, I guess the teacher, what he was saying, certain people that he knew that that he was giving advice to to start the podcast, and they would give up so quickly because, oh, like, I don't have like a thousand, you know, subscribers in the past, like, two, three months I've been doing this, and I hardly got anything, Yeah, and yeah. it kind of goes to show, like, well, like, your intent, why are you doing it, like, so you just want to do it to get like that many subscribers? Like, no. Well, what about just the joy of a uh, passion of just uh, you know doing a podcast exactly. overall and exactly. let the crowd follow you because of that, not because you want the you know where, where's your uh, what's your pride and your dignity, yeah. man? Right. right. Well, how can they resonate with uh, just just just, just it lack substance? In other words, exactly. at least we're yeah we don't have that many, but I'm I'm okay with that. I enjoy yeah. doing this because yeah, this whole version, sure. yeah, yeah, the whole point of. <clears throat> just getting together and having a few drinks and discussing or trying to have thought provoking, you know, conversations, I guess, if you want to call them that. Nice. Uh, and then we can get a following that way exactly. on our way, you uh -huh. know, integrity, Fuck, yeah. uh, you know, not just do anything for shock value. And so I don't know, just they were going about the wrong way. Most of these people. And I was telling them that, too. And uh, and then if you're going to discuss something too, make sure you know it in and out as much as you can. If you don't, at least. You know, say up front, like, I, I don't know too much about it, but I know this, this, and that, but I can't, you know, I just want to watch out what you say. No, absolutely. If you want to be, if you state an opinion or talk about something or have an opinion about something, do your research. Make sure you know what you're talking about, yeah. for sure. Unless, like I said, just full disclosure, say, like, I don't know that much, but I, you know, this, this, and that, but I can't really say. So it's just watching your, um, 
you know, yeah, just keeping yourself in track. And, Absolutely. And, you know, just don't be stupid. <laughs> so <laughs> That was our first mistake, the very first <laughs> podcast. Like, I was oh, to, yeah. already talking shit about certain people. And, uh, yeah, yeah that, it's just, it was just dumb. Just yeah, stupid. we crossed the line. Yeah. Um, we totally scrapped that fucking well, thing. I don't know if we did cross the line. Well, say, you lot. know. But I, I think, I know what you mean, though. It felt like it was, to me, I mean, even though it was genuine, but it felt like it was like, oh, this seems like this is like shock value. And it's like, I don't want to go down that route. That's stupid. That's uh, that's yeah, lazy. Absolutely. And, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, We're better than that. Very well said, sir. But from then on. From then we, on. So, uh, so that, started, uh, that started the Comic Con. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. I was going to get to that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying that, you know, actually the Comic Palooza was actually a year anniversary of. The actual first podcast. I, I mm. wouldn't call it a year because last year's Comic Palooza started in June, and this year's was in May. Yeah. Um, but let's just call it, you know, a year for shock value, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna get. This is gonna gain a lot of pounds. Yeah. But um, so the day started where uh, we went, we had a nice little breakfast at the Egg and I. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, I, I tipped kind of nicely, you know. Um, I don't think I did. <laughs> and uh, we uh, we we head on over there. I don't know if anything happened before that. <laughs> we head on over there. We, we got boozed up, all right. <laughs> we go, go in there sober. Shoot, <laughs> pregame game <then. laughs> For me, it was kind of morning. kind of sort of pre gaming, but uh, <laughs> uh, we went. To the workshop because that was something that really want. I, you know there's another workshop I wanted to uh, you know check out and that was to build an arcade um, but that oh. started like at 1030 I think and we missed oh, that but uh, we saw the podcast workshop and that was <laughs> interesting because there were some things I didn't know but there was a lot of things that like we were like ahead of the game yeah after that did we go to the, the uh, exhibit hall or what? what do we, yeah, we just yeah, we went. Around, we went huh? down and uh, roamed around. Off, maybe. Yeah, I'm probably. I'm pretty sure I do. I don't have to do anything. I just piss people off. <laughs> You're pissing me off yeah. right now, actually. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we need, here we go. When you talk, you should <laughs> give me eye contact, man. <laughs> uh, I feel lazy. I know. I mean, uh, uh, why do y'all guys go to a Comic Con? Because you, know? you drag us there. I you do drag, drag me. you guys there. I do There's guys no there. other way to say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And it's fun though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Well, I'll go by myself so. next year. Well, maybe Raph and I yeah, can I'll go. go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just you know just just, just Facetime really me. There. I'll Facetime you. And then I won't right. answer it. That's cool. <laughs> but they have <laughs> they have a um, like a podcast. Uh, set up over there where all day there's you know scheduled you know podcast podcasters you know doing their show and I would like to do that next year for yeah, sure that does sound like um, fun you know and actually record it you know yeah I'd be I definitely be well well no you're not I'd, going because yeah, right? uh, I'm, I'm about to <laughs> FaceTime you in you know he's a Mr. Important here I'm saying important there's a difference between not liking things. And liking well, things. I don't like that lead that you did earlier when we were jamming out. <laughs> but I, I was there. <laughs> I was, I care? Was you fucking care? I, I don't fucking like that care. tuning. I, I don't like that color of guitar. Get it the fuck out? I don't like those gauge strings on that guitar. <laughs> he has the same gauge. <laughs> well, I like mine. I don't uh, like yours. Uh, uh, but yeah. But yeah, a lot of beautiful women, of course. They're and, from cosplay, um, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then hired. Yeah, how 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 many of them were actual fans? You know, how many? Uh, what the the costume they're wearing? I, I just mm. don't know. Like, and I try to go for a hug, but they're like, no, money first. Like, uh, I don't just, have that. Yeah, yeah. I have a body that's kind of rocking. <laughs> I'm not payment enough. I'm not hideous like half these fuckers. And that's not bragging. I'm just stating truth. So how was... Um, but it was fun, yeah. I know we don't ever go there for the celebrities at all. Yeah. You know, but I mean... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. my baby. What's your name? I was walking around. I did see the, some of the cats from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, but I didn't fucking go there to get an autograph. Or to yeah, die. yeah. I just saw them there. I mean, who, who, who would you actually want to get an autograph or meet if anybody was... Like a celebrity that was there, like waste your time in that line to meet somebody who would. I can't be? recall like that was there. I mean, maybe not this year, or last year, 
But I'm just talking about like if you could just pick anybody to meet at the Comic Con and you stand in that long line for that person, who would it be on the top of your head? Tim uh, Blake Hart. Nelson. <laughs> I don't know why and that line w- that line would not be long. He was in fucking uh, uh, what's it call it? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the Hulk? No, not the Hulk. Um, yeah, the Hulk. He was. Yeah, but he was—he was also in um, um, what's that shitty movie Ryan Reynolds did? Green Lantern. Yes, he was in there. What? Yeah. What the hell did he play? I don't, remember I don't know. He was potentially going to be one of the bad guys. I think. I think I know you're talking about. I, yeah, the Hulk with uh, Edward Norton. That's I thought that was him. Uh, he wasn't on Green Lantern. Man, don't ruin this for me. You <laughs> ruined, Either way, sir. fucking loser. Don't ruin you know, oh, Brother Word Art Thou is a, a, a close comic uh, related thing. <laughs> yeah. So, the celebrity uh, ra- Rafe. Uh, is it jo- John Barathol or Josh Barathol? Yeah. You're talking about from Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Punisher. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's, well, he was there. You're not, he was there last year. Yeah. Or he, said, he said, come watch. <laughs> yeah, come watch. <laughs> come, come watch. <laughs> 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 no, no. He said, "Tell bring you bring you bring a pair of your panties." Yeah, well, if you're gonna reference <laughs> something, it's, it's, it's called the movie. Yeah, what was that from? Uh, uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. There you yeah. go. There you yeah. go. I'm all we got tricking or what? What about you? Um, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not in this conversation. I don't, well, I don't know. You know, I kind of changed my mind. Like maybe <laughs> somebody beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe somebody be beautiful a, too. Could it be a Jim Henson puppet of uh, Michelangelo? Jim Henson. The the guitar player, audio, <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know, man. Uh, maybe uh, psh, uh, I don't I don't know, man. I should I don't I wouldn't have fan I, I wouldn't a fan, but I don't care. She just looked beautiful. I, I wish I paid money to go see. I don't know her name. The one from Kim Possible, Mojo. No, no, that's <laughs> later. Do you know Do you know her name? Uh, no, she's a uh, uh, from Even Stevens. Uh, even oh, Stevens is a sister. I forgot her name. Uh, she's beautiful. Romero she's... Romano, Christy Carlton Romano. There yeah, you go. she was there. Ray Romano. Ray Romano. Ray Romano. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, she was there. Um, she was there, and I, and I, kind of, I saw a couple of, uh, uh, you know, I passed by her a couple of times, and then I, either she's giving me like this guy's a creep, or maybe she's just like, "What's up, baby?" To me, so yeah. that felt nice, and like that's why I wanted to go see. <laughs> As a hand, he confirmed something. No, <laughs> fuck. This has been a waste of money. Wake up, man. I am awake. No, I meant from that story that you're dreaming I'm, of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, um, but okay, so after the walk in the exhibit, we dabbled into. I don't know. You're. You, yeah, we split up. You're yeah. gone somewhere. I think you're. I don't know where you were gone. <laughs> My cigarette comes first. And then, and then Paul goes out and smokes a cigarette, and I follow him, and we, some guy like, hey, can I sit with you guys? <laughs> like, yeah. And he's like, uh, yeah. He's like, can I hang out with you guys? Like, yeah. Like, you know, smoke a cigarette? Yeah. Like, no. Oh, my friends are in here. I, I want you to be my new friends. Like, all right. Yeah. Take a gamble. We don't know this don't guy's know this motives. Guy. I knew so, where my wallet was at. Yeah. I knew where my car but, uh, keys were at. <laughs> yeah. Turned out the guy was pretty cool. guy was named Milton Bradley. Uh, no, Milton, no, Milton, I think. Right? Milton yeah. Brad Jalee. <laughs> there you go. But yeah. His real name was Milton. I don't know his last name, but uh, he was Let's cool. Let's call him Bradley, though, yeah. He, he, was, he was a cool guy. Um, I don't know. It was just, I think it's ballsy for a guy to just come up to a crowd or a group of people and, like, hey, I'm going to hang out with you. Well, guys. it's not cool. a group. It's just two. Two's two. not a group. It's a couple, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not being a dick. I'm just correcting you. I guess you're right. I guess you're right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, uh-huh. I could have done that to a chick too. Hey, can I just hang out with you? You know, it's the environment. Uh, it's okay, uh, I. Right. <laughs> 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 no, but from <laughs> yeah, well, no, I no, I'm not trying to be. A, I didn't mean to be a dick like that. I was just joking around because I was just trying to figure out a way. If I was there, and I, you would have told me that right then and there, I would have done that. <laughs> hey, it's the environment, honey. <laughs> Uh, no, hey, yeah. it could happen, man. Yeah. Hey, this isn't angels in the outfield. I mean, um, <laughs> right? Yeah, the I said that right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. It's got tough now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so from then on, we hung out with him, and he was a pretty cool guy. And we we're you know having a few beers, and 
Um, he ends up getting like a four hundred dollar lightsaber for like seventy five bucks out of a mystery box or some shit he in did, some booth, yeah. and yeah. Uh, Raph's moseying on in downtown. I get sick. I go moseying on to the park and buy some food from there because for the equivalent, I paid for um, yeah some food out, out outside of the Comic Palooza, which you can walk in and out. Um, yeah, it, it would have cost probably like thirty dollars there, and I paid nine bucks for a good amount of food and it was good and then the crap they had to come it was just awful but yeah. <laughs> yeah and then after that towards the end we uh we watched some wrestling that was funny some wrestling some it was like fall wrestling i don't know it was just like comedy and and we set up front and um banana what, what was the guy what was the headliner what was uh, his name ban- mel or no no, no i'm thinking of the band uh, banana. banana something I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> he's it's just yeah. His his name had a banana in it. He looked like a yeah a banana. I mean, well, that's just stupid, but it's hilarious. Well, also, then he also had like something monkey. Yeah, monkey man or some bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. Had, it's it's still pretty funny though. It was just, they had Jaffo the the great Sultan or something. Whatever. Yeah, didn't they have like no the, a great cook or something or oh, they had, uh, or a ketchup <laughs> man or I it was just so vague. It was so stupid, it was but comedic. it was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just cheap. Yeah, like food, and, but it was hilarious. And uh, um, when that banana uh, Hussein came out, whatever the hell his name is, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we just sat up front. And it's like he's walking around the audience, like you know, and kind of giving them shit. So it's like I whip out my cigarettes and I, I like offer it to him when he gets when he gets close to him. He's like, G- "Give me that!" He just grabs my <laughs> spokes and uh, it was hilarious. He puts it in his mouth and, and, the, and the commentator's like, "There's no smoking here." But Nana's like, oh, oh, he just throws it like, <laughs> "Fucking wasted my cigarette, you son of a bitch!" Oh, fucking waste! You should have like I believed in him too. He should have took like half of his leotard off, like he was peeling his banana. Yeah, off there and, you go. Nice. Laid on the on the ring, and he'll there just walk go. over it and slip. What? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> what were you? Could have given him hot tips for those uh, oh, the, yeah. the, uh, the association, whatever the hell they were, that circuit. That, I don't know what the uh, fuck they're called. Oh, I forgot what it was called. Who he 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 has of Tex of Houston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> featuring Yump Yump Boys, security provided by the Yump Yump Boys. So after the after, the after the after the wrestling, yum, yum. um. What do we do after the rest? Yeah, now pretty much after that, the final thing is what I was looking forward to. Me and Raph was <laughs> was a, was a speed dating, oh, geek yeah. speed dating, oh, yeah. and I should have known. But as soon as you get there, there's like uh, the ratio is like I don't know, like one every one girl there was like ten fucking guys, yeah. maybe more, like twenty, more than ten guys. Dude. It was yeah. ridiculous and. I, I, Raph was sitting down like he was gonna, you know, they're were, they were still waiting for people to finally sign up. And, and I kept, I went in there like four or five times. I kept changing my mind. I was like, nah, the thing nah. is, though, I got there early. I wasn't part of the speed dating thing because I'm, I'm married, right? But I got there earlier just to check it out. And there was literally like 20 girls to one guy. And then Raph showed up and they're like, boo. <laughs> 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 they walked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I finally, I finally walked away because I didn't want to break any hearts. When I say hearts, I just, just the men because it would be pissed off because it's not fair if I was there. Why would I get fair? all the women? Yeah, because they're fucking. You know, they're just. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not trying to be uh, vain or anything, but they're just compared to me. They're just. They weren't that great. <laughs> I mean. I, I don't. <laughs> I I don't. I'm just telling you. That's how I felt from my eyes. It's like, oh, Drink this hurts. Beer. You know, like I, I can't do this to these men. So I can't. I, 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 I Raph was Raph stuck around, and I was chanting out. Uh, I was encouraging. It's like, hey, fellas, say some for me, or no, put a good word for me. And they all looked at me as if I was another woman, and they were frightened. So I just knew what I was up against is like I made the right choice. I left. I left. Was good. Okay. okay. Yeah. Fair I, I, the guys would start hitting on you? No. No. I just knew like, hey, they can't even talk to me. What the fuck? Let alone the women. What the fuck are they gonna do? So, uh, I'll tell you what they're yeah. gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna jump to uh, conclusions, just a, Matt. It's just a. Well, it's just a. It's just a theory, folks. Huh? Like fucking yeah. Bill Burr. But no, it was, it was just funny as shit. And like, I kept, you know, me, me and that guy, Milton Bradley, we were outside <laughs> the, the door that, where that what was happening. And, and there was an old lady 
guiding and let everybody know where they're at, where to go, what they, where the men, what they needed to do, and all that stuff. And we're just joking around, talking shit, and blah blah blah. And like, and she kept, you know, giving mean stares over here at me. And, and like, I was like, ah, well, you know, like I'm, I'm no, I'm no prize. Like, I just, I'm just joking around because I'm no, I'm no different. Those fucking guys. Come on, like, it's just a your prize, just me. Paul. Your prize. No, man, I'm not a fucking cracker jack. Dealing with this podcast with you, mm, my legs just itch. tells me I'm winning. <laughs> I'm yeah, winning all the time. Well, yeah, that <laughs> thing went on for two and a half fucking Dude, it took hours. Forever, like, man. I was like, God damn, Raph, like what? That wasn't the last thing we did, though. It was. We went to go see September morning oh, or something like that. Yeah, that's that, right. That, that that I don't like to you know bash uh, bands yeah. or anything, and I'm not going <laughs> to bash them. They're unique. Yeah, in a negative way. But uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> That is very nice foot, because we got. The, let's put it this way: like it was, it, it was at a nice like uh, uh, um, a, a theater. I guess you would say. Uh, well, yeah, it inside like a Georgia hall. Brown. It was like a hall yeah. with the stage, and yeah, yeah, there's a lot of seats, and uh, we got a front Auditorium, row. Auditorium, I guess you could say. My bad. Yeah, we got front row. We did it's get front free. Row. Like let's just put it that way. <laughs> no, 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 there's there like good, twenty people there. Yeah. Probably. It was all spread out awkwardly, and there's people up front, like, <laughs> on the stage, like... You know what like, it reminded of me dudes, of? It like, reminded me of... It was a chick, female... <laughs> it reminded yeah, me of... You ever seen uh, uh, um, the, the Jim Carrey movie, Andy Kaufman movie, uh, Man on the Moon? Uh, where he, that, yeah. Well, where he goes on stage and he finished The Great Gatsby and at the end. <laughs> there's, like, this guy with his feet rest on the seat, like, whoa! Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> he stayed. He's the only one that stayed, yeah. <laughs> That's what it felt like we were there. Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, no, it was like it was, it was like theatrical. Like it, it was like it was the band was like pseudo Coe and Cambria. They have a they have a comic yeah. book line coincide with their music. Okay. The it was all theatrics. Band, you know? It was it was all, a lot of visuals, and it, it looked like you heard of war. Yeah, you know, it was like, we're looking at Braveheart, and in a sense, it's kind of. Uh, you know, that poster right there, like, well, not a not, not, a, good not a good example, but like just to get up, it's just it was like a different. They wore armor. Timeline, yeah. They, they that's they where I got armor. the part. You know, that's what yeah. I'm looking at. I and uh, the black eyeliner. Um, yeah, looked like they did oil changes because they were dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forgot what that one band was called locally. <laughs> like a promo pick. Like he, he joked around. Like we saw the promo pick, and this guy, like he had like just black marks on his body. Yeah. And Jake's like. What the fuck is up with this pick? Like, you say, well, well, hold on before you shoot this. Let me go change this oil. Let me get, and then it's like, all right, I'm good. Let's do this. Man, it looks great, man. Perfect. What'd you do? What'd you do? do. Keep, keep doing that. Do what? Do what? <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because that was a female fronted band, too. It was a female fronted band. Yeah. Right. I, I remember that. I remember one of their songs. It's in my head right now. Just, oh, God. In your head. Yeah, no, not zombie, that. Zombie. Zombie. <laughs> But, but yeah, uh, there's a lot of dudes up front, like, yeah. ay, 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 like, God, oh, let me touch, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, that, to my eyes, that's how it was. And then I took a picture of my bulge and sent it to my coworker. And I said, hey, this is happening because of me. And I was front row, too. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm oh, telling oh, you the story of that he went, night. <laughs> he went <laughs> south. Did he just have, like, two conversations? You <laughs> and Milton Bradley, <laughs> Jacob, were behind <laughs> me. I was up front. I'm giving, I'm giving you me play myself. by play. That's what the fuck happened that night. Me myself at Paul. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you play by fucking play. Your play by play is like fucking. Like, it went south. Yeah. It went south fast. Fuck you. My pants weren't. <laughs> oh man. It made no sense to me. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I was almost there. <laughs> yes, it did. So, oh, man. so yeah, that band. They're, they're apparently After they're they're that, well known. Yeah. They're signed and um. Yeah, Records? no, they're actually <laughs> on. They're actually on a decent record label yeah. too. Like I forgot. Like I I know I've heard of it and um. Yeah, could be the I can't boys. remember. I don't. Do you, do you remember their name? September morning. Is that what it's called? I thought yeah. you were joking around. Yeah, it just rolled off my tongue. Um, I don't You're know sick. why. That sounds disgusting. Um, they are signed to. Is it get off my label records? <laughs> I don't know. Is it really? Is that it? <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> get off my label records. Yeah, sounds well, like a name. I don't know. Uh, Repo Records. 
Virgin T Boy Records. <laughs> Dot <laughs> UK. <laughs> UK. <laughs> oh man. So, but no, it was it was fun. Apparently, after that, there's another band called Hellstar, and they're well known apparently as well. But uh, we didn't stay for them I was <laughs> because by then we're hoping Raph to stumble out of uh, out of his uh, uh, speed dating deal. You know, and then and Raph was befriending guys over there. Yeah, like, he's, the I thought he was. This, I thought, this, you're not doing yeah. it right, Raph. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him, but no, I thought he was talking to the fucking Doctor J- Jacoby from Twin Peaks. If you, if you ever watched Twin Peaks, I swear I thought it was a guy that dressed up as him. And that show is fucking awesome, and it's just so. Season three is, is just so off the fucking wall, David Lynch. Shit makes no fucking sense. I think people are just building up the hype. No, you no have what? to. No you well, you you don't you have to see the first and second season. Right, fair enough, I'll give you that, but still. Even so, like yeah, even you knowing cut that into a season and think you know what you're talking about, man. I don't know, but just the way he films. No, it, like I but see, I have a feel. Okay, because the first eight episodes are called the Return. And I think they're all going to be like that. There's only like two more. Like it's on this what tomorrow's are we about, guys? Twin Peaks. Twin Pe- like the restaurant? No. <laughs> I, know, I know it's the show. I know it's the show. Come on, guys. It's fucking oh. great. <laughs> but I, it'll start to make more sense and start piecing in towards the end because that's how he does shit. Yeah. But it's really fucking out there. Like it's just the fucking. He's yeah. all stressed out about this, man. Yeah. <laughs> David Lynch. He's just. Fucking ladies and gentlemen, Jack Doll, yeah. Lynch. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. he's out there, man. David, I'm thinking of the Batman artist David Finch. Nope. And he was one of the guys that stood in line to to get a Batman, you know, a commission a drawing from him, but it was too long of a line. Oh, okay, that's the one that you were like No, yeah, well no, I, honestly Yeah, it was the line was too long. But he was doing what's it called? But he was he was doing his drawings and he he was actually there and signing them and everything. And then I went to go see uh, behind him was uh, Spider Man artist Venom artist uh, Sam De La Rosa. And Jesus, I was talking to him. He guy was cool, but it, like I had a a blank variant of Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man. I wanted him to maybe draw Spider Man or a Venom. That'd be kind of cool, right? He's like, oh, you got to mail it to me, man. And uh, I, I live in San Antonio, but I'll have it done. You know, you got to mail it to me, then pay me like eighty bucks and. And I'll ship it back to you, I'm like, oh. like Man, I didn't I'm know like, I could okay. do voice acting yeah, so and, well. And I was like, okay, that's cool, man. And then he went to go sit on his chair and really wasn't doing anything. Like, dude, continued on just, with his life. The drawing will take you like like thirty seconds, man. Like you know, these he just I can picture I can picture it. He does this number like he he's like. Yeah, man. You so just like half gets on with his chair like like this like this, and then you know so just just do that, and you know we'll go from there and. <laughs> then you like, finish his sentence. like that. Just fucking like, sits in his chair and he turns like away from like, you and just stares like, blankly dude, dude. into into some other direction. Like, what the fuck is he going does, on? He doesn't even finish. He's like, hey Sam, uh, there's a period at the end of that sentence, man. <laughs> finish your statement, man. Okay. I'm just picturing it. That's how I perceive it. And that just makes it more enjoyable because I don't know what the fuck is going on because that's, you know, I didn't see that happen. Like five minutes pass by, then he just continues, it continues his conversation. (laughs) (laughs) He was loading. He didn't wait long enough is what it is. No, no. I I, I, I thought I I saw something. No, you're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good, baby. You're good. Oh. Uh, the, 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 don't divert yourself from uh, uh, the embarrassment of Michael Caine or what's his name again? Michael Caine. What was his I name? Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Michael <laughs> Caine's great. You're more drunk than <laughs> usual. <laughs> <laughs> You're late and more drunk than usual. <laughs> Come here. Man, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing now? Oh, man. oh okay. yeah, that's so that yeah, pretty so. much the end of it, right? That was the end of Comic Con. Yeah, um, we parted ways yeah. with Milton. It was uh, yeah, it was a very long day because we we were there from 10 a.m. Actually, maybe 9:30 or 10, and we didn't fucking leave till almost midnight. It was like 11:30, right? Yeah, it was like 11:30. Yeah, it was the longest yes, it, it was. ever been. Twelve over 12 fucking hours. Jesus, don't act like you didn't have fun. I was just exhausted. I know. Uh, No, I did. It was. I mean, hell, we're talking about it, and it's fun now. Uh, (laughs) I'm probably gonna drag you. 
It sucked. It, su- it sucked. You know, later that fucking night, you know, because Chris's dad came home. And <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's pretty much the end of Comic Palooza. So, yeah, um, you know, um, would you go again next year? Fucking hell, would yeah. You? No, I'm starting to enjoy it. After like the fourth time, I was like, yeah, you know, it's ain't too bad. Jacob's got a, he's got something going on. He's he's right After about the something. Fourth time, fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, something about these, you know, these people, adults with incomes and families, dress up something that they're not. Exactly. Something interesting yeah, about right. that. Exactly. It's called yeah. enjoying life. Yeah. I, I told these guys, like, I, oh, yeah, what character do you go to? Oh, it's a character for a short film that I'm trying to do. Nobody knows who the fuck that is. Exactly. That's cool, man. I just started yelling quotes and getting pissed off that people don't and get who it. who is that? Who is that character? I don't know. I forget <laughs> it. I forget <laughs> it who is that character? <laughs> Come on, baby. Like, I'm going fishing here. Come on. <laughs> just, just getting pissed off. They just don't understand. It's like, why don't you get the fucking reference? And it's just it's a short film that's in your head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's their <laughs> problem for not understanding that. All right, fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hell yeah, Comic Con, oh Comic Palooza. Uh, that's Comic Palooza for me. I come up with my shit on my own. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, so. From then on. From then on, I drove home. And that was a long drive home. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we decided to, you know, since it's the first show back after a long time, oh, to, yeah. to watch a movie Jesus. and give us our take. You know, we're, we're never going to do reviews of a movie unless it's something that we really want to watch, I guess. And we'll we do say it. never, but. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Never say never. Never say right. never. You but, take uh, that back. So <laughs> safe. But I'm never going to play a banjo. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, why not? <laughs> that don't sound appealing at all. I don't want to play on a drum head. That's a strum a guitar on a drum head. That's what it looks like. But um, so Taylor Pete, we decided to watch like three great. separate movies. Each one of us watch a movie and mm-hmm. give yeah. us our take mm-hmm. on it. Each of us chose a movie that uh, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. thought was interesting, or you know, that give we, or take on it. Yes. Yeah. Not give or take, but or, give. Give her it really impressed us. Take. Well, the movie I chose really impressed me. Which yeah. was what was your movie, man? Okay, the movie I watched and I like. And Paul, what, what was yeah, your movie? <laughs> like I, I mean, I normally watch movies several, like several, like more than several times, like twenty times maybe. <laughs> if, I really like it, Ultra if I really like it, if I really like it, I've seen this movie uh, a couple, like uh, probably like five times. Yeah. A couple, come on, <laughs> yeah, probably like five times, I think. <laughs> But it's just really impressive shit. Couple out of sets me. in five time, five time, five repetitions, <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I, I watched uh, the girl with all the gifts. Okay, nice, nice. And what was that movie about? I mean, okay. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we, are we doing spoilers? Spoilers? Yes. I'm I okay. Say, I kind of. I'm, I'm okay with. I'm okay with spoilers. Okay with spoilers. I don't care. I'm planning to see the movie. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm gonna still see it anyways. Okay. So this uh, t- t- uh, to the person that is listening to this, it's gonna be a spoiler uh, take on this. So okay. Yeah, All yeah. the movies that we're gonna talk okay, about. Yeah. Well, basically, um, it's about zombies, and the uh, the way they t- another zombie movie. Yeah, it's a zombie God movie, but the way they but the way they approached it was genius. I know. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. And it's about kid zombies because normally you don't watch, you know, when we, you watch a zombie movie, you'll see like one kid zombie, and, but it's not, you know, the plot of the movie. It's just, you know, you see one kid zombie probably. But this one, the kids, the the kid zombies are the main plot of the movie. The main character is a child zombie. Okay. Now, in the way they explain it, it's um, it's not like um, it's a fungus that's in the brain that makes them zombies. Okay. Pretty much. They're brainless now. And they also go to the point where there's the first generation of zombies and then second generation. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And the first generations are the adults. They're just brainless, um, you know, feed, right. feed, 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 pretty much. Right, right. And, um, <clears throat> and the second generation are the children. But the thing is... They're, Wait, hold on, hold on. Are, are, are these children... Be, do, uh, were they like normal humans and then they became zombies? Or were they, they the were born. They were the born adults with adults were reproduced. The yeah, yeah, zombies? yeah. Like a preg- uh, it was a, the, uh, the pregnant, um, what do you call it? The pregnant zombies? 
Or the, I think they were already so, pregnant. They're already pregnant, and they became zombies. And they became zombies, oh, and then their children, and then their children became the second generation. Where nice, I like that. They, they they are zombies, but they can function like you know, like regular humans. They can uh, learn to speak, talk, and everything. But they want to the, crave but, it. But they do crave it if they smell human flesh. Oh, right. Okay. So, um, like the beginning of the movie, I really love it because it reminds me of. of uh, like Akira or uh, Ghost in the Shell, just like that eerie music that they play. Right. I, I don't know. It's just my take on it. But anyhow, it, you know, it shows the kids zombies, but, you know, <clears throat> um, the base gets uh, invaded uh-huh. and um, they're pretty much on the run. And one of the army sergeants, you know, doesn't trust the kid, but the kid shows um, that she's there to help. Right, 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 right. Even though you know she kind of wants to eat them at times, she's there to help them. So right on, yeah. And um, um, oh, there's a doctor. There's a doctor. What's it called? Uh, that's part of the group, right? And uh-huh. what she wants to do, and what they're doing, is they're uh, cutting up the kids to try to make a vaccine for the to make the zombies not zombies anymore. Pretty much a cure. Right, 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 right. right? Well, there's a scene in the movie that just like like made me think like, damn, this is badass because the doctor um, gives the, the the main little girl like pretty much uh, questions to answer, right? Uh-huh. Like uh-huh. riddles, uh-huh. right? And um, at one point, she starts mar- uh, making notes, but she talks, she says it out loud, like um, subject mimics human behavior, right? Uh-huh. And now the kick of the sh- the now here's another thing about the movie. Um, the first generation zombies, if they don't eat for a long time, they sprout. So they pretty much um, like start growing vines and eggs. Oh wow! Yeah, right. Now these things are hard. You can't break them, but what can open it is moisture or heat. Right. Okay. So all right. So now here's the kicker. Here's the ending. Uh, the doctor ends up, uh, what's it called? Uh, knock, knocking the girl out with gas. Right. Right. And she's about to operate on her, but then, uh, she wakes up like right away. Cause it turns out that uh, she can hold her breath longer than, you know, regular human beings. Okay. Right. 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 And then, um, the doctor's over there telling, telling her like, okay, so, you know, give up your life. We'll make a vaccine out of you. I know you're, you know, you're the girl to make the vaccine. And you'll save the the what's it called uh, the teacher because she's really fond of the teacher. She's part of the group. Okay. Anyhow, right. and she's like, okay, so she's getting ready to you know go under the right. But then she asked the doctor, um, do you do you still think I mimic human behavior? And the doctor goes, no. And she goes, the little girl goes, so you think that you know I'm functioning on my own, like I'm, right, I'm right, learning, right? right? She goes, yes, oh, you know, right? That. Yeah. And then she goes, then why do I have to die for you? Oh, shit. And then she goes into where the eggs are being, uh, what's it called, held. Uh-huh. And she lets them out. And they become airborne. So everybody becomes affected. Oh, wow. So she ends up being, like, taken. There's, like, more to the movie that, like, I don't want to talk about. Because, like, when you see it, you're going to be like, dude, that's fucking badass. That's crazy, man. That's, that took another turn. I didn't think it was going to go like that. Exactly, yeah, dude. You got to watch the movie, I'm man. Gonna watch it's it. I'm going to watch it. that fucking badass, man. Nice. But anyhow, yeah, that's that's my movie. One to ten, what would you give it? Oh, fucking uh, ten. Ten? That I give great it a ten. Movie? Okay. I give it a ten for the just, just, I'm telling you, when you watch that movie... There's a lot of fucking scenes that just make it like, damn, dude, that's badass. Okay, okay. But yeah. Nice. Well, well, Paul, any idea of what you're thinking, watching? Paul, what's the Bat- movie Batman that... Batman uh, Robin. Batman and Robin? No, Batman with Robin. Batman with Robin. The teen Wonder. Yeah. I didn't really notice that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Signed by Neil Adams, which you, you you saw that. I was at the Comic Con that you didn't know I want to go to. That apparently drug you out to it. <laughs> which one? There was several. I think it was the second one. Last year? Uh, no, I was like two years ago, three years ago. Hmm. With Neil Adams. Um, it was, that was a good Comic Con. Greg Caputo was there. He's the artist of Batman. This Neil Adams is like the, the Batman that kind of, like the artist that turned Batman into like the dark, Night, I guess you could say it wasn't oh, all yeah. like 
the, the you know, and it's paying homage to Adam West that's recently passed away since we're on that the is true. Um, yeah, he uh, yeah, um, but he he kind of pioneered the Batman going from Adam West to like I the guess dark. the Michael Keaton, the more darker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll be up. So, so what movie, movie did you fall? Allied. Allied. Why? No, I mean, how <laughs> was it? Why? Why'd you watch it? <laughs> beautiful movie. How beautiful was it? The end. Ah, I could barely hear you, man. Oh, sorry. Um, I, 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 I know we had it on Voodoo for a long time, and what's a Voodoo? Didn't think anything, anything, <laughs> didn't think of anything of it. And I saw a trailer. Like the trailer sold me on it. Like, but it seemed like the trailer revealed a little too much than it should. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it still sold me like how the story just went from one thing to another. I don't know. It was just it just seemed like a good story, and I started watching it. It's a little bit slow, and apparently you fell asleep in it. I did fall so asleep. I'm calling in you it. out on that. <laughs> I mean, in a bad oh, I way. call out some things too. I don't, not in a bad way. I was just you know I, I, call I don't out some things. I, I don't. I, did, I don't know how to say calling out like in a bad way. Like I just mentioning. There we go. Mentioned oh, okay. that you fell asleep in it. To words that people were talking, you know, dialogue conversation. Yeah, and, there's a lot um, of dialogue actually in mm-hmm. the beginning. I felt oh, that's good. That's fine. It's very important, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I really liked it a lot because it. I didn't like I said. I didn't expect anything from it because I kept hearing because or seeing about it like uh, uh, on tra- our trailers or, or just not trailers. But I remember my parents went to go see it. They told me it's like ah eh, whatever, and then I, I just. Didn't think anything of it, like I said, and uh, I kept seeing it on Voodoo, and uh, finally gave it gave it a chance to watch after seeing the trailer, and it was really good. But um, is um, that the movie that Brad Pitt left Angelina Jolie for? Supposedly, supposedly, yeah. But I don't know. I'm not getting into that. But like, like, I'm not like I'm, I don't know him or anything. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. But, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm calling not saying, him right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, is this true? I'm only saying that because I don't know too much about it, so no, I'm not going to talk what, about I, it. Like, yeah, I just, this is what I, I, um, I, I heard of. In the yeah. tabloids? Uh, yeah. I heard the same I, thing. Vaguely, but, but they just don't know much. you were shopping so. at the, what's it called? Gro- yeah, uh, yeah, grocery, grocery store? store? Yeah. yeah. You can see the magazine. But that wasn't the movie that Paul initially wanted to watch. Yeah, it was split, but uh, that's a great movie, of course. But it's a damn good movie. Um, now, 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 which one was better? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh man, <laughs> you're doing this to me right now. Hey, heat it up! I drag you to Comic Cons now. Apparently. Both <laughs> different genres, and just I don't know. Just, just they're both really good movies. You want to come home? I from think a long Al- day Allied, work and you're gonna choose one movie. I really think Allied was underappreciated, though. I tell you that, though. I, I give you that. Because I didn't I know that was asleep. directed by Robert Zemeckis. <laughs> I give you that because I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. See, it was underappreciated. People. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> You're one of the reasons. Yep. You're one of the yeah, causes well, there, man. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Rotten so, Rot- Tomato <laughs> score. Hey, uh, can, I, can I trade you a beer? Yeah, man. Come on, dude. You fucking trading yeah, beers. I don't have one. It's in the fridge. <laughs> it don't matter, <laughs> dude. Drink currency. up. Uh, End up. Uh, a forest um, cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, no. So, but yeah. Long day at work, oh, man. And it was, it's like, damn. I just want to watch a movie, but only Can I answer that too? Allied. Can I answer that too? Because I've seen them both. Can I answer that too? He goes first, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go first. I can't. Uh, I'm, I can't. You can't compare you both. Can. The, the, What's the first movie you're gonna watch? You can if, compare. You can't watch two oh, movies yeah, at the same can time. You oh can, yeah, you can compare. You, like if I if I come home and I watch uh, it's Back to the Future one or two that I'm reaching for because even though they're both great movies, yeah. I'm going for one because it's Back to the Future one. Um, really? You go with one? Two was pretty good too. Actually, you know what? I think I might go, I'll with, go two with two because I'll I'm go like with two. I'm like uh, Biff Tan and you know screwing Marty McFly's mom. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's he say about her about her breasts? Oh, about, man, I don't know. Uh, he said something that made me laugh. I forgot. I forgot man. what he said. <laughs> it was in the hotel. I'm no, sure. no, 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 no. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, McFly's mom is like, you're the one that wanted these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to see this. They boast about it. Yeah. Biff, nice. Uh, yeah, part like two's pretty Biff good too. Mater, okay, I can tell you, I can tell you right now. Even though the whole trilogy is awesome, okay, um, I, three is my least favorite. Even though it was a great movie, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen three. Get out. I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen three. It, it, didn't, appeal, it didn't appeal to me. I no, don't know why. Wait a whole freaking it didn't phone, a movie buff like you. 
yeah. haven't seen a cult classic like I know, uh, Back I know. to the Future Three. I'm ashamed, but I'm not really because it it didn't appeal to me. I don't know why. Mm-mm. Anyhow. So Paul. Okay, yeah, back to Paul. Yeah, I, I didn't interrupt you doing your you know split. take on it, but yeah, so whatever. Right? Oh, <laughs> poor baby. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I sit and listen. You know. <laughs> oh, you must you must be very proud of yourself. No, I just call him having You're a mature manners. man, aren't you? Having manners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to you know I, 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 you want, I, I'm given the opportunity to speak. I can't even fucking speak. You so. want a fucking plaque about how much of a gentleman you are? No. <laughs> I just want you know. I, I just, just we're all gentlemen, guys, but we just have no class. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? Put that out there. <laughs> There's no class here, man. There's no. no uh, <laughs> so, okay, so you weren't done uh, okay. talking about the movie. I'm I, sorry. I don't even know where I was at. I don't know what I was talking You're about. You're telling that it was underrated because I fell yeah. asleep in it. Yeah, and I forgot. I forgot. Well, okay. I'll, 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 I'll butt in. No, you have to pick Split or <laughs> Allied. Yeah, right. Yeah. Who would it be? What would it be? It's going to be Allied at this point. At this point, I really do like that movie. I really do like it a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna have to no, watch it's, it. No, it's good because it, it just it's just it's just not it's drama. It's a love story, and you know there's some elements of action in there too. But it's done tastefully, and it's yeah. great, and it's unexpected. Uh, there are parts is like I fuck. I didn't think they had that in them in that movie. Just, right, right. But it was done well, and I really like that. It stuck out to me. Stuff um, just. The story, it's just a good story, too. And just, uh, and you find out, too. Well, I, in the extras on Voodoo, like you want behind the scenes, you find it's based on a true story, which makes it even oh, more wow, sadder wow, wow. if you watch a movie. I don't want to ruin anything for you, actually. No, I, I, I wanted to, to say things, but, but no, I don't want to ruin it for you. It really is a good movie, and okay. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but okay. it just, just resonates with me because it just, uh, just how good of a storyline it is, and just, uh-huh. how, just how they, you know, like I said, it's a love story, blah, blah, blah. And, um, but how they meet and I don't know, it's just it's just so it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's really it is beautiful. And like and they I they did they that. did everything well like yeah. back then in the in the forties and World War Two and it was just <laughs> it was fucking great. So oh, I know yeah. being very vague, I but I, can agree I don't want to see yeah. well, uh, say it, too much because um yeah. but it's just a lot of things I didn't expect either. And yeah. um it was just fucking that well. good. Hey man, I got a really good movie. I really now, feel like really. an asshole for falling asleep in this movie now. <laughs> <Yeah>. No, <laughs> really good like, movie. it was just it things. Really that, there were things like so many things that were unexpected to me. Like it wasn't that like shocking or twisting or I don't right. know. It just it was done. It flew. If it, it was very flowing, right? And right, right. um, it's to the point where it it was enough to like well shock you, keep you enticed, make you to want to watch, keep watching the movie and see what's going to happen. And um, you can really resonate, like I said, and really uh, um connect with the characters like in just i love when you know that that's really good uh storytelling and and acting too when you can really feel for the characters and i really do, did feel like i feel bad well like i said for well brad pitt's character and well there's so many other characters too is it really is good and just really uh some good substance in there really can connect with that movie interesting that's why i like it and that's my take on it pretty much Nice, nice, nice. That's a good take, man. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a real damn good movie. You guys. But I can answer that question, too. Oh, I've yeah, seen well. them both. Now, so here's the thing. I'm a real big Brad Pitt fan. I love all his movies. You but, Legends of the Fall? Huh? Legends of the Fall? I haven't seen, I haven't seen that movie. Yet. Are you a big Brad Pitt fan? I am a big fan, though. Liar. But I would have to... Interview with the Vampire? Split. Yeah, I've seen it. Of course I've seen it. I've seen it several times. Seven? Oh, I know you've seen seven. I fucking love seven. I it's my favorite. Anyhow, <laughs> um, I would choose Split, though. How about A River Runs Through It? Get out. If you haven't seen it. You don't even know that. I, I don't think I've even heard of it either. Like, what do you think? You're making like, shit up. No, that's one of his, that's one of his, that's one of his uh, first movies. Like, well, early movies. Not his first movie. Uh, yeah. uh, River Runs Through It and A Legend of the Fall. They're both pretty good movies, so you should check those out if you like Brad Pitt. But go ahead. Spy right. Games? You ever seen that? No, I've never seen Spy Games. I'm not a hardcore yeah, it's Brad Ultra, Pitt. Uh, okay. Caleb. Uh, Caleb's going to watch that, yeah. So uh, what would your pick, then? Uh, split. Split? I don't watch Split. Ooh, pissing off Paul. Oh. That's a good movie. <laughs> That's a really good a movie. damn but, good movie. But when man. I want to feel good about myself, I'm not going to watch a fucking... A, a psychopath with twenty three personalities. That's not for me. Right. If I want to feel but good it about really myself, I'm good. watching Back to the Future three. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck up. What's the matter? My strong words. Run. Hey, lighten up, jerk. 
My strong words, Ron. <laughs> Do you understand what he said? <laughs> like, I, I do you know what I'm talking about, though, real part? No, I don't even know. What? what oh, part? fuck, man. Strong... Call yourself... I don't know what part you talking about. We're all man. pointing fuck both we're, you guys, we're, we're, man. We're, 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 I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> Raph was at the bottom. No, you're at the middle. Words. I'm at the fucking mighty top. Mighty strong words, punk. Because the, there's... Okay, the, during, the, during the, the dance... There's... Okay. The scene when they're dancing... Dog's dancing, he's having a good time, and fucking Biff and his cronies come in there and they ruin it. And uh and uh what's it called? He's about to he's about to shoot Doc with his tiny little fucking chode gun. He's like, Oh no, you blah 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 like and then and Marty sees from a distance like and he's like, Oh, what the fuck? And he he, he tries to find something to, to distract or, or hit him with. Right, right, right. And, right, right, and right. it was a it was a, a what's called a saucer from the pie. Yes, yes. And right. he fucking throws that and, so like, the- and then and you know, he shoots and he misses and it hits it off his hand. Yeah. And he's like and, and Biff sees him do, does it, and Marty's like, "Hey, lighten up, jerk!" And Biff turns around, looks at his guys, like, "My strong words, run!" <laughs> That's right. Like, he didn't understand <laughs> what he meant because, like, "Hey, lighten <laughs> up, <laughs> jerk!" Because, like, you know, they didn't really talk like that. You know, <laughs> yeah, I they didn't understand yeah, that. He looks look at yeah, the fucking crony, confused, just, like, "My strong <laughs> words, run!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. And of course, the, the, the inevitable was wrong. Oh. You yeller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's wrong, with Eastwood? You yellow? <laughs> right, yeah. I do my killing at the breakfast. <laughs> Seven o'clock. <laughs> fucking nasty best. <laughs> I do my killing. <laughs> Some kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. You're the biggest jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause easy top. Yeah, you pushed the drum over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now while we stop, let's. No wait, what did he say? What Strickland? Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's a great let's movie. have some pause. It's a good movie. You should check it out, Raph. I mean, shit, you right. call voodoo. Uh, oh, what's it called? I'll check it out tomorrow. Liar! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Man. Yeah, great movie. We keep going on and on with that, but we got to yeah, stop. Could go. no, we, we should, actually. We should have a Back to the Future podcast. We should. <laughs> it's fucking great. Fucking Marty's little eyes. <sighs> uh, fucking uh, the second one, when he's trying to retrieve the fucking... Uh, uh, the god the, the almanac, yeah, sports almanac. Oh, like, the bit, eyes going bit, uh, yeah, bit, on the bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Biff's adjusting his mirror. He sees weasel eyes, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he stole his wallet. Yeah, I, yeah. I keep saying that the other day. The so Michael's like, I think he stole his wallet. I really think he stole his wallet. <laughs> yeah. We fucking heard you the first time, Weasel. Oh, like, Weasel. <laughs> oh, I think I broke my arm. I really think I broke my arm. I said that the other day, too, because I, I fucked up my, my wrist. Oh, man. I lift up the toilet seat. Ah! It fucking hurt, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened before, but man, my Yo, God. Yeah, it fucking hurts. Lock it up. I couldn't eat lunch. My hand my head was locking up. I was like, the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, that's awesome. I think he really broke his wallet. <laughs> I said broke, broke, broke That's what broke I said I think he really broke his wallet <laughs> <laughs> oh. Weasel Yeah uh, Damn hands off her uh, It seems like we're going down to 3, 2, and 1 yeah. it's like we're, we're just quoting yeah. Back to the Future In like yeah. reverse order I suppose <laughs> oh, I forgot what he says uh, <laughs> and I was going to the first one I was quoting Because he said <laughs> Ronald Reagan You know yeah and he's uh, going off. He's running across the free or his uh, the, the the yard. Where where the hell he's with his all his I don't know. He's got like inventions or, or prints. And he's uh-huh. and he's running off. And he's telling Marty like as he's running away from him that like he's like I suppose blah blah blah. Yeah, quote or just saying like other actresses or actors whatever currently or or his uh, the Secretary of State or something. I'm, I'm probably paraphrasing big time, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we keep doing doing lean down. You no, know, so. it's unfortunate. But it would have been Not awesome. Like, like uh, for, for, what were you going to say? Nothing. Forget uh, it. Uh, well, I mean, Christopher Lloyd is still alive. Yeah. I was thinking. Know? No, no, no. Well, see, I, when I was watching Adam's Family yesterday, one and two, and I was thinking, like, great man. Great movies, by the way. Yeah, of course. And, and just how great Christopher Lloyd is. I was like, man, 
He's up there in age. I'm just getting scared. Like everybody's passing know, away. He's, he's gonna be next, man. I hate to say. It. Oh God, no! I don't, don't want to say, say that. Either, I don't say that, that guy's awesome. That. That guy's uh, great. He's a owl yeah, from Angels yeah. in the Outfield. Yeah, <clears throat> it's just fucking. And that guy I was thinking about too was uh, um, what when he played uh, in Dennis the Menace, the hobo. Like, oh, just the hobo. how hilarious! That <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> the, the oh beans man, and... it's just his voice, man. <laughs> You should see him. You should see him. Uncle Fester, man. Um, he was, I remember growing up and I used to watch uh, Taxi. <laughs> and he was in Taxi. No. He's 78 years old. He's not, I mean, he's old, but he's not like old, old. Adam West was like, I think. 88. His, yeah, 88. You know, late 80s. So, I mean. Man, still, man. Like, I just get scary. Like, fuck. I know. That guy. He's just hilarious, man. Fucking. It's like Christopher <laughs> Lloyd has that. a. Um, I guess a Jim Carrey face to him where he can like mimic like cartoony like expressions. Know, expressions, yeah. Yeah. It's and you know, even his voice too. Like it's just a character. Yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. His 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 manner is everything it's just his voice. It's was he on Carrey. Roger Rabbit? Yeah. Fucking Doctor Doom. He was a bad guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right? I believe that's his name. <laughs> right? Jacob. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I know where what And I scream <laughs> just Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh, man. <laughs> That's oh, right, God. man. Another, another well, great childhood movie. Yeah. Uh, so I ended up watching Lego Batman. This just recently. Came oh, out. that's right. You did say you're gonna watch that. And um, I, very I, serious. It's a good it's you know, a drama film. No, it has a drama <laughs> film. That's a good movie to watch with the family. And um, you know, those of you that are Batman fans. It pays tribute to a lot of old Batman cinema Sounds movies. good. Um, like, for instance, uh, there's this one scene. And, and they're they're kind of mocking it in a way, but it's in, you know. I don't want to be a rap and get a <laughs> Exactly. But, uh, like, there are, like, um, I guess he, he was flying his. What did you know, say? Bat wing. I don't even know. Oh, okay. I'll take it outside, I think. <laughs> but, no, um, he was flying his bat wing or something like that. And then they're putting some music on. And. They made a reference to like, oh yeah, when you're last time when you're in downtown with that Prince music, you know, and then Batman, you know, one with you know, Michael Keaton, yeah. you know, Batman and Jokers in yeah. downtown, in Gotham City, and there's Prince playing around, oh, where he's throwing up the yeah, money, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and like, like Batman says, like when he's flying the Batwing, that's what he says, like, oh, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. And I don't know if you remember in, from? In, in this scene actually that's hanging on my wall. Where, where uh, Batman, uh, Michael Keaton's character, Batman, uh, Bruce Wayne, yeah. is at Vicky Vale's um, and they apartment. And visited by... Uh, and he, the Joker. Yeah, the Joker, and then, yeah, and, yeah. And then, and, you know, he gets, he gets like one of these yeah, that's little, right. That's right. Uh, that's chimney right. Uh, log <laughs> handlers. Like, you hey, want to get, get nuts? <laughs> Let's yeah. get nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and then he pulls out the gun and that. shoots yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> but it's hilarious, you know, in, in Lego Batman, yeah. Bruce Wayne's flying to Batman. Like, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. He says stuff like that. And it's like... Paying tribute to the yeah. old, you know, movies. Who voices? Um, uh, the guy from uh, Brother Solomon. What's his name? Will Forte or Will Arnett? I, I think forget. Will Arnett. I think it's Will Arnett. I, yeah, I, I, they're I think, both. You know, they're in there, but I always forget who's who. Yeah, I think it is I Will. I think. I, I don't know. You guys can verify that. Um, Last Man on Earth. That's that's Will. Uh, I think it's Will Arnett or fuck Forte. Oh, I forget. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't. Yeah, Will Arnett. It is Will Arnett. Okay. Um, it, I think it was pretty good. They bring out like uh, like there's a scene where they they bring out the shark repellent for Batman, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, never again. Or so they make it like, what the hell? Why they bring out the shark repellent in the first place? You know? Yeah. It's, it's the, there's no shark repellent. Yeah. It, it's just, <laughs> they're mocking the you know the Batman sixty six whatever. Oh. Um. You know, and it's it's cool because I'm not going to spoil too much of it. It's a good movie. I would definitely recommend to check it out. There's a part of the movie where you know what the va- Phantom Zone is, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Phantom Zone is like a it's like a prison that's that's held in outer space. It's like in another, I guess, dimension. I guess I don't know. And all the top notch criminals go there. Like, is this DC? This is yeah, yeah DC. Yeah. Oh, so nice. you know, like in, in Superman, you know where. Um, Man of Steel, uh, Michael Shannon's character. I forgot what the fuck. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Zod. Uh, Zod, Zod, yeah, General yeah. Zod. He's he, he. They're from the Phantom Zone, and he was sent to the Phantom Zone after he, he tried to destroy, uh, or he did destroy, uh, uh, Crypt- Planet Krypton. Yeah, yeah. 
So they were sent to the Phantom Zone, and, and that's pretty much what they're they're doing in Lego Batman. Like Joker gets sent to the Phantom Zone, I know. and okay. um, he's like, "All right, he wants to go to the Phantom Zone because he's trying to recruit all the criminals in the Phantom Zone." And uh, uh, you got you got the Voldemort from from Harry Potter. He's in the Phantom <laughs> Zone. You have Godzilla. You have oh, King yeah. Kong. <clears throat> you have Jaws. <laughs> the shark. <laughs> <laughs> and he's recruited all these bad guys <laughs> to get unleashed from the Phantom Zone to go to Gotham City and wreak havoc. Um, and you know, I was like, why? The f- how the fuck did they get all the licensing for all these characters? You know, you got yeah. Harry Potter. Oh, they had Agent Smith from the Matrix. <laughs> 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 and apparently, what they said, there's two ways. Hmm. If WB owns oh, the rights to those characters, nice. they'll be in a Lego movie because it's a WB yeah. film. It's a, it's a Batman film, right? But also, since it's a Lego film, if Lego owns the rights to those characters, they, they can, can be used. They can be used. Nice. So I'm like, damn, that's a fucking a steal. Lego owns yeah. Godzilla. Well, a rights to it. I mean, Lego. If they make Lego Godzilla Lego toys. Then they own the rights to them. I'm not saying like, oh, they own the rights. I'm gonna make a movie, you know, <laughs> right? Or whatever. You know? like, no. Lego presents Godzilla. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like. Uh, <laughs> but who else? Uh, they had uh, the T Rex from Jurassic Park was uh, in okay. there. Oh, they had the Gremlins. Gremlins. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they also had nice. the, the monkeys from Wizard of Oz and the and the Wicked Witch. And that shit. <laughs> Fucking uh, protest the Euro style. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. But um, begging the, for a job. <laughs> But no, that was that. That's my take. It, it was a great movie. I definitely, uh, it has a story to it. Um, okay. Uh, Dick Grayson, Robin is a is he's a bitch in there. He, he, what do you mean, the way like, they portray him, it's like he's like, oh, I love you too. Oh, Dad, I love you too. It's like <laughs> it's like yeah, you know, it's, it's weird kind of. But uh, it was um, it was it was fun to watch. I'll tell you that. So I definitely recommend it. I'll give. Oh, oh by the way, Paul, what was your rating on uh, Allied? Allied. He was a nine. Oh, nice. No objects or shapes or anything. Like that. An actual <laughs> number. Nope. Not today. <laughs> Nine? Not okay. today. I can't think that hard. Well, well Lego Batman for me, um, I would give it probably a nine. A solid nine. Okay. Uh, eight and a half, nine, I think. Over eight, it's a good, you know, movie, mm-hmm. I think. Um, but that con- concludes that part. Uh, another part, I kind of want to just, you know, just bring up is that okay. you know because this podcast is about music pop culture stuff paranormal stuff yeah and um just us hanging out and having a good time right yeah but i, th- I know one of paul and my you know uh, i guess uh, i wouldn't say uh, maybe a hero i guess but like we kind of like read all his books is jim mars oh, and he yeah. is on on the brink of of of, of I guess the last leg, and I, yeah, it is a. It, it, he's an author from Fort Worth, I believe, he's from Fort Worth, right? Yeah, he's well considered a journal journalism Jur- journalist. Journalist, yeah, yeah, so, journalist, yeah. But yeah, that, I, I saw recently on Facebook. He that has he's wrote, not doing too well. He has written many books. Um, Check them out: Crossfire, Alien Agenda. Yeah, Crossfire. Uh, JFK is based on uh, Crossfire. Yeah, yeah. The movie JFK is based yeah. on that movie. I mean, that, that book called Crossfire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, they have the. Uh, Back and to the left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alien Agenda was one of the first books I read from Jim Mars. Sworn um, to Secrecy, The Fourth Reich. The Fourth fucking, Reich. Uh, uh, that's that, you're right. A ter- yeah. uh, uh, the Terrorist Trade. Conspiracy. Uh, yeah. 9/11 Terrorist, the Terrorist Conspiracy. That's, that a, that's a big book, and I read through that. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. Yeah, the, yeah. the Terror Conspiracy, I think, yeah. or something like that. Um, and that was a good one. Good read, man. He, he The guy, he's, I guess, you know... Probably cons- conspiracy theorist, I guess, but a lot of the stuff but he yeah, says. But, well, is, you know, see, that's, that's the thing too. Like, I, I listened to something today, but he he said it himself. He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Like, I'm I'm a journalist. Yeah, I'm just telling you the facts. You know, and, and see, what, what, the truth. What, what, like, that's all he says. Like, yeah, he's, absolutely. He's, you know, true journal journalism is to absolutely. seek the truth and, exactly. and talk about it and report it, and that's yeah, it. And that's exactly what he not does, this man. Bullshit. Exactly. Uh, assuming so theor- theorizing things. Well, yeah, no, yeah. no, that I was going to talk about like how how how, how what supposed journalism is now mm-hmm. and all these other you know uh, uh, so-called journalists out there and it's all usually just shock value yeah, exactly. bullshit. Yeah, Jim Mars, man. I didn't get the privilege to ever meet the guy, but I know Paul and his dad yeah, did and I, I did a couple of years ago. I was yeah. very drunk and he was very he was very kind. He was very he was cool. 
I did portray him one time in yeah. the <laughs> prank. And, and, and I, I did get a call back. There was a video uh, on YouTube. I don't know if I should be saying this, but who cares? Uh, there's a video on YouTube about um, AMC or Cinemark Theater or whatever in Dallas. And <clears throat> they're located right across the street from an FBI building. This guy uh, that worked there recorded his like, car at a parking lot because he was burglarized all the time. So he's like, screw this. I'm going to record you know, whoever's stealing stuff out of my car. Well, when he's recording, you see this little speck of light or like a dot going you know, in the sky that goes right above the FBI building and it shoots this electricity and the whole FBI building like shuts down. Okay. Like he's like, hey, it shows yeah. up right there. <laughs> well, it, it seems like that or like, oh, it wasn't just that, but it seemed like a part of a grid was shut. It looked like, it looked like there's more than yeah, that. It looked like, yeah, yeah. But, that was shut down, okay. but yeah. And then you can see it, you know, it, it, it comes from like the right of the screen to the middle of the screen. And then it shoots this beam, and like you said, the grid shuts down. Mm-hmm. And you can actually see it in the, in the video. And then the light doesn't go off screen. It kind of fades out like it's it's going away from you, you know? Interesting. Okay. So um, they say the address of where it was at, and I, I called him. I was at mm-hmm. Paul's house, and I called him. <laughs> and, uh, uh-huh. um, we looked this up on a forum, by the way. That's how he found out about this. Yeah. Okay. That's right. So, that's right. What form? Up top, so above top, top secret. secret. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. So I uh, I call the the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I like where this is going. I told them, hey guys, um, <laughs> I speak to the manager, and uh, I said, my name's a I'm, I'm a I'm a journalist. Uh, I'm an author actually. I, I'm writing a new book, and uh, my name's Jim Mars, and I would like to uh, talk about the events that's, that's happened on this date um, about this. Uh, like the light that's on YouTube is the light that that's just shoots green. Like, and the guy's like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, straight up, He's like, no, 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 I understand. But uh, like, I'm Jim Mars. I'm writing a book, and I, and I just want to get some information, you know. And, and, and that's it. And he's like, hey, hold on one second. And then, did he say he was gonna call me back? Yeah, or? he was claiming he wasn't who he was, and it might it's it was probably the, the guy you're. They actually posted it. Yeah, the, the he video. Like, like oh shit! But he this didn't want serious. to give himself up. He want to give. Yeah, exactly. He's he, like, he's not here yeah, right now, Jake. But like, if you, if you give me your name, yeah, and your that's phone right. Give number, me name and phone number. I will call you back. And then like, okay, Jim is this right? Yeah. <laughs> Jim is a Jim. And Moss? <laughs> and then he lost it after he and he was laughing and he hung up. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like, give me your name. He's like, is Jim is a Jim? Moss. <laughs> and then just, we fucking laugh. We were drunk, of course, too. We were drinking. That's right, man. God damn it. I, I, I know, man, but it was like, dude, this guy's serious. This is the first time I've ever like yeah. gone this far for trained somebody. Yeah. He gave some information. Like, good this, method acting. This is there. this is good stuff here, man. This guy's yeah. It's not joking around, you know. Yeah. So that's and and then, um, I posted that uh, comment on that video on YouTube about like the whole story. It was like a freaking like I had to post it twice because it was a long essay of a comment. <laughs> and a producer from some show from the Sci Fi Channel, yeah. like like messaged me and told me that he wanted to get my input on what was happening about this video and what I did. And mm-hmm. I was like, no, nah, this guy's bullshit. And I don't I don't think I ever responded. I, I told you, you about it. Did you tell me this? Yeah, I told you. About, I showed you the. <laughs> okay. Oh, but how long ago was he that? He had, he, oh, this was probably maybe I post. Okay, so this the events that happened when I was portraying Jim Mars. Yeah. Uh-huh. You okay? You actually did that. You actually. Uh, oh, you actually said put, actually, put it on there on YouTube. I actually put a comment. Someone put it on YouTube. So I put the comment years later about this. Yeah. So it refreshed, and then someone messaged me saying claiming that they were doing their producer doing a paranormal <laughs> yeah, they're show they're trying to do it to you now like <laughs> yeah. who's this Jim is a Jim Miles <laughs> fuck you <laughs> it's him just paying you back I don't know but I never responded back to him or anything like that yeah cause you're smart exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm, gonna put, uh, I'm not gonna get that tease but ah uh, man this, you know, what this had to have been here? what in 2000 what like 7 8 maybe I mean, yeah it's like 10 years ago and um, back. and now, unfortunately, I didn't even know. But Paul sent me the message saying that you know, you know, I guess what they said on what, what did you find out on his face? It wasn't on his no, Facebook. No, it was it was John B. Wells' uh, his, uh, Facebook. Oh, you know, he, he used to be on Coast to Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just from his own uh, show. It's called Caravan to Midnight, and uh, yeah, it's had a picture of him and it said that he. Uh, well, he lost his he lost his vision. He can't see. Yeah, I can't see anymore. And dude. then they say they uh, they don't know who's gonna he's make gonna it, make the, end it the, week. Yeah. To the end of the week, and that's it. And they're being very vague. They don't know what people are asking. Like, well, what what's going on with them? What caused them to be in a state? 
And all every time somebody would I check the comments, every time somebody would ask that, they would just repost that certain that small little update from the actual post. Just repeating what it said already. It was like, okay, well, I we know that, but well, what? you check, you check his Facebook, Jim Marsh Facebook at all? No. Well, back in March, I think it was in March or, or maybe April. I forgot. It was a couple oh, months ago. Somebody did mention like they they he, thought he died on. Well, March. no, he um, he uh, he was supposed to make a couple of appearances in Dallas somewhere, um, and accept not accept an award, but I forgot what it was, and he regretfully declined on going over there and had to cancel his show because. Something with his health, and he had to like I got to go see the doctor, and the doctor su- suggests that I should not be traveling. So um, he's gonna listen to what the doctor says, and and just focus on him right now, and yeah. then he'll make it up to him uh, to the fans and everything later. Yeah. But apparently, it, it it's not looking good, man, and that's gonna suck, man. Because I was, re- and I think he's writing another book, and and um, I was really looking oh. forward to to more of his work, man, because the guy is uh, yeah. He's a good journalist. Yeah, and, um, he's very credible an too, and yeah. he says it himself. Like, just, just like, don't take my word for it. Just do do the research like me and believe it yourself, and you'll find it. Seek the truth, and you'll be amazed at what's out there and like how crazy and fucked up things are. You know the guy, <laughs> and the, you know Tom DeLong. He, 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 you know, the, you know the guitar player from Blink One Eight Two. He, uh, he's hardcore into the paranormal activity and, and research, and he's a big fan of Jim Mars. So this just shows you the, the impact that Jim Mars has made. Um, it's gonna suck, but it, it, I guess it's gonna be coming, you know, soon for him. Yep. We'll say your prayers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, pray for you, Jim. But good tidings. Either way, you brought us. Well, I don't want to say joy, but <laughs> I, well, I would you brought us the the information that we need to know and the truth. Yeah, yeah. Like you, yeah. I would See, recommend reading uh, Alien Agenda. Uh, if you want to read any of his books, I mean, Crossfire is a, it's a huge read. Uh, the Terror Conspiracy uh, is a huge read. Yeah. Alien Agenda, you know. Sworn by Secrecy is pretty big, well, too. Sworn by Secrecy is pretty big, yeah. That was the first book I bought from him. Or bought, well, you know, as far as works. Yeah. That was yeah. a long time ago, man. Yeah. I think it was like in high school. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. yeah. It's but, been, it, was a, it was a while back, but, um. So that'll wrap us up here. No, not just no? yet. We haven't oh, got no? to the good stuff. I think we're going to get to the good stuff. Well, what's the good, good stuff? stuff? I'm sorry. I, I, I thought we were going to talk about movies we want to see come oh, out. Oh, that is the good stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry. Where what are my the manners? fuck, man? Where are my, how dare you? Uh, we, I know you're bringing up Jim. No offense to Jim Mars, but then like I was going getting ready like, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. go on. Okay. It means right, a lot to me. On. I was like, I didn't know this thing meant a lot to you. Well, what we were going to talk about. No, it does. I, I completely forgot, man. Um, we'll, we'll, we're gonna start with you then, pal. Because I had something too, but we're gonna start okay, with you. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. <coughs> all right. Hmm. So, hmm. Dude, excuse me. We're talking about some, you know, movies. We like to see me, uh, yeah, be made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and so yeah. My, my base is basically is just well, you know, a superhero. Well, not superhero. It's it's a, a Marvel. Uh huh. And uh, <laughs> it, it would be a Mojo. Mojo, from, uh, uh, yes, Marvel, yeah, well, Mojo, Mojoverse, and you know, I'm not that huge a fan of comics, and you guys know that. And it's, I just, how do you, you know, know about Mojo though? Uh, okay, yeah, I was gonna get to that. I was telling Raph because you, you know, when I was younger, I did have a collection of comic cards, and I still remember ha- seeing that one <laughs> card, Mojo <laughs> card. It's like it just stuck with me. It just looked, it looked frightening, but it looked hilarious. It's like man, this fucking guy's weird. What, what? Just look hideous, but look weird. Right, it's right. memorable. Made an impact. It's in my fucking head. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just curious. Like, you know, I want to find a little information. So I started googling it and googling the, the character and and starting to get to know a little bit more about the character. And I also was, you know, what? I wonder if there's ever talks of like them making a movie about him. So I looked it up, and like there was fucking jack shit about it, and I was very disappointed. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I will bring my pointers as to why they should soon. <laughs> All right, please back me up. I need you. Back you up. I okay, need you. Yeah. We have been. We discussed this. You'll okay. Anyway, we'll back that answer. So <laughs> <laughs> this is a rap theme song. All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, I started looking him up and started, you know, finding this. It's hilarious what this character is about. So basically, Mojo is what he belongs. You know, I'm going to be paraphrasing, so I don't fucking care. Well, you know, like I always say, you know what you got to say, and you know, you're going to have an opinion. But 
anyway, this is just this is la- you guys are laughing at it at this character anyway. This is laughable. So he is from the Mojoverse, and uh, 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 and apparently these people are spineless, and they have no spines, and mm-hmm. and, the, and they're mobile, so they need transportation to move them around, and hence, if you see his character. He is uh, has like some kind of drone machine, or well, it's like his legs. It makes him mobile, and his people like that kind of uh, mobile. And I'm probably quoting and saying some of this stuff wrong, but it's just hilarious how fucked up this, you know, this weird species or people are. Right. And right, right. Uh, so he is actually a, a, a compilation or a compile or a composite. Well, I don't know. It's a composite, but maybe not physically, but metaphorically, or or of like the people who made him up in the '70s. Was based on certain producers or uh, um, people in the, uh, in Hollywood in the business uh, yeah. that they were just like vile, like this, you know, just just horrible people, you know, producer like in, in Hollywood, and, like they were just just businessmen and like just just terrible people. So when they got the idea of Mojo, I was like, okay, the art. They told the artist like, well, how do you want this guy to look like? Just disgusting, ugly, fat, and just vile, just nasty. And then hence, that's what Mojo looks like. So they went <laughs> off of that. And so Mojo is like a hot child, like producer of a reality, you know, TV shows and stuff like that. And that's all he focuses on is on reality TV and ratings. And then it, that's oh, his that's life. Hilarious. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and so he'll, he, he, I forgot how exactly, but he creates the, uh, like the mini X-Men and he tries to use them as a show, but it's often like done like so many times. Like he makes these mini X Men like like children, uh-huh. like versions of like of like Wolverine, and I, I can't I can't think of you know who exactly what else, but right, right. but eventually they turn on him. They <laughs> always <laughs> turn on. So you know like somehow they get away, and then he uh, makes them again and forgets. What did they do? They turn on him again. <laughs> it keeps happening, and it's hilarious. He's just terrible, yeah, man. yeah. It's just fucking hilarious. He is an underdog of a villain. All right, let's get this right. I gotta so, find the first but, issue of okay. Mojo. In the yeah. Comics. So anyway, it's just yeah. So I just think, man, this fucking guy's great. And then I found, I started looking up more pictures of him, and there was like different versions of him. I was like, what the fuck is up with this? There's one looked like he was a human. And he was wearing a business suit. And I started laughing. like, what the fuck is up with this suit, man? Looks like he's got a set of fucking Jinkos on for a business suit. <laughs> and I just going to start fucking laughing. And, and I told him, like, you know, so, okay, you know, joking about that. And then I told Rav, like, you know what? I want to make Mojo the movie. And I want to call it. It's going to be called Mojo. Mojo the movie. It like that. To be pronounced that that cheap. way. Yeah, that way. Otherwise, you're fucking doing it wrong. And oh, it's just like yeah, that, just reeks of like 1990s cinema. Yeah, like this is a mojo the movie. It's just, oh, it's and, just uh, awful. Side note, so, side note. Uh, oh, well, uh, no, go on. Uh, okay, go on, go on. okay, okay. All right, I'm, 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 I'm flowing here. I'm doing your good. Heart out. You I'm, your heart I, out. I'm pouring yeah. my heart out, man. You you're your heart out. fucking it up. So. I, you know, yeah, I was like, I want to fucking make this. And Rob's like, what are you going to do? You fucking you, you get your Kickstarter, go around Hollywood, shop around town for this mojo to movie. Like, you're <laughs> fucking damn right. Uh, you're going to get investors, so, man. Yeah, exactly. Don't, 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 don't fucking worry about it. Just know that it's going to happen. It's going to be beautiful, all right? So, um... It's like a comedy already. <laughs> yeah, all it right. is. It's going to be fucking be great. It's going to be better than Logan, all right? Oh, yeah. This is going to be better than Logan. <laughs> I speak highly of myself for this movie and such faith. And <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a tall so, order, sir. Anyway, uh, you know, I could stop laughing too. Like, okay, the fact that you're going to make the movie, okay, you got that. But then still that one picture that just made me fucking laugh was him in a business suit. And come to find out that it's like some kind of alter ego or alternate universe or bodyguard. Like Mojo has like certain bodyguards. It seems like it spawns of him. Uh-huh. There's one that's like uh-huh. Mojo, like uh, but uh, with like an actual bo- another body too. But like he's his physique is like 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 an Olympian, you know, like Olympian body. He's like really huge and like well. Uh, fucking beautiful, I guess. But beautiful <laughs> compared, like you know, the regular Mojo, like a fucking blob of shit, a bag of shit. And then, and you know, just I don't know. I I can't remember exactly how much details, like as far as like the um, if there's like spawns or, or like doppelgangers or 
you know, the bodyguard or some shit. Anyways, but there's just that one particular Mojo. I think I, I forgot, like, there's like another one called Mojo the Sequel. That's a person. <laughs> it's like, and the, the first thing is that the rap is like, they even made the first one. They're, they're, they've made a, it's already, the second one's already in production or something. <laughs> Mojo. I'm like, that's how great it is. So but, all this is because of a, a Marvel card. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So but basically, but like I said, I'm still, I'm still, you know, stuck on that one business attire mojo yeah, of course, of course and just looked hilarious like because and you know like i said it fucking looks like he's wearing jinkos, jinkos so i told raf fucking you know it's gonna be a, a marketing thing we get the movie we pair it with polo ralph lauren and jinkos presents mojo the business attire line and <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you know come to work in style you know as you as you mosey your way to the fucking uh the business meeting you'll fucking clean up the floors with those goddamn pants oh, uh, they're yeah. just fucking they're so huge you're trampling over it you got a four hundred dollar set of italian boots but you can't see them because they're covered by your 62 dollar jinkos jinko fucking slacks <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta let people know what so, Jinkos are, man. Oh yeah, oh, well, those who they don't know what Jinkos are, which I imagine some people J-N-C-O. don't. J N C O. Yeah, this is yeah. back in the this fucking is the like, 90s. 90s. Yeah, this is just jeans that the, the Jinkos the name brand, the brand name, and they were just a pair of jeans that were just like bell bottoms, but on steroids. They were like just yeah, you wide jeans guys on the bottom. Wear like parachutes. <laughs> they're like parachutes yeah, on, uh, on parachute. the, for the yeah, legs. Exactly. Yeah, they, like they said, parachute pants mm. like MC Hammers, but not the way we're talking about MC Hammer. Mm. They're the, the, the bottom was fucking like, I don't know. Like, I, don't I, 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 I remember this one guy I knew in, in, in not high school, but middle school. He This guy's like my height, like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, and he comes in like, you know, nor, like Jinko size, like not exaggerating, probably like I don't know, like six, seven inches wide, right? Right. You know, right. maybe eight or nine, or I don't know. But th- these were like fucking like twenty four inches wide uh, on uh, one leg. It was like on the bottom. Yeah. The how, height of how, him was the width yeah, of a leg. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Three inches yeah, yeah. of a leg. And, like I remember him walking as like. It's like he said, it's like parachutes. It's like, it's like, is he going to float away? Like, what the fuck is going on? It just looked ridiculous. Like, <laughs> how? The, yeah. And the strange thing is, the, the, how do they become in style? Like, people yeah, were buying like, these pants. Buy Actual yeah. money was being paid to this shit fashion. I'm going to Google and it again. And it's fucking hilarious. So anyway, I want to bring back the Jinkos and with style, with Mojo, the movie. The movie. And, tied uh, into Tied it. into the... Mo- the business line of uh, uh, Jinko's, like, introduced a business line for Jinko's, and uh, uh, Jinko sl- introduced a Jinko slacks. Like I said, you fucking walk in style, like, with, to, to the meeting while, you know, be and be also a benefiter of Earth by cleaning the floors with it. And mo- what? Oh, y- Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> huge. Yeah. No, I'm just looking at one. <laughs> <laughs> Jinko's, my Jinko's, God. <laughs> that is beautiful, though. Like, oh, God. <laughs> So I had to so, pull yeah. the Jinko image, and then you know, slightly try trying to make off, a comeback. Like, apparently, yeah, because well, well, Mojo the movie. <laughs> yeah, I told you <laughs> it's happening. Why? I even really got started. They already, they already had a lot. They heard my. They heard my ideas. It, it, it's been heard. So, <laughs> that being said, that you know, Jinkos can belong in the business line, and I started thinking, well, why stop there? Let's Jinko everything, Jinko. Right, right. Uh, 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 um, you know, like uh, Jinko turbans, uh, Jinko yarmulkes, J- Jinko, uh, uh, kano- uh kan- what, what are those Konomos? Kano- no, no, you're talking <laughs> about the Japanese, the Japanese, uh, uh, the Japanese uh, uh, robes. Komomo, Komomo, Komomo. Yeah, I think it's Komomo. Are you, are you, are you, you're Komomo? making this up. No, I'm not making it up. <laughs> Kadomp. Uh, no, you know, Komodo. uh, Komodo. Komodos. Uh, British hair wigs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Gico. I came up with this shit. Yeah. Gico, some bro- uh, judge robes, you know. Uh, even though they're huge, this would be extra huge. <laughs> and, you know, you can Jinko anything. Jinko the walls, Jinko your car. Jinko yeah, your yeah. feet. Jinko your feet, you Jinko know. Jinko your nails. Jinko everything, yeah. <laughs> well, so, is it, we don't discriminate. You know, yeah, women, too. Yeah. Jinko their uh, their oh, nails when they go to the uh, nail salon. <laughs> 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 oh, so, 
We're talking about an endless amount of money here, Jacob. Why don't you no, you're chiming in? But I'm trying to figure out, like, what the hell can you but, use a Jinko going back. size? Dude, we size. We're like, hey, uh, can I get a number three Jinko size? <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're talking. Right? You, got you get the idea. Small, medium, large Jinko. Jinko. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me get a number six. Oh, would you like a, a medium or large? Uh, no, no, no. You better make that Jinko. <laughs> All right. All right, sir. Big appetite, oh, huh? <laughs> oh. So yeah, uh, yeah. Mojo yeah. the movie, Jinko business line attire. Polo Ralph good. Lauren. Well, Ralph up. Lauren is gonna buy the. the well, right, they're teaming though, up right? with Jinkos. Yeah, because Jinkos is uh, uh, currently, you know, on a bidding war. You know, whoever <laughs> whoever is the highest bidder can use the Jinko uh, fashion and uh, <laughs> and name. And Ralph Lauren is, uh, is in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph I don't know Lauren. why the fuck they're gonna buy that. Mojo they're gonna lose the movie. money, but yeah, yeah all no, right, I, I, good for them. I'm backing them up. Tell them it's a smart investment. <laughs> yeah. I know th- you guys know I know things. Come on, you do know things. <laughs> yes, because um, you know, Mojo you know the movie one plus one will be when hit. you're in the restroom. Yeah, you know Mojo things, right. the movie will be a hit, and so will those fucking Jinko business attire line slacks. Fair All enough. right, they will be. A hit. I believe. I. You. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree with my words. Yeah, <laughs> you agree. I with said. Yourself? What about you, Raph? Yeah. A movie. A movie that I would. Want he to be wants made. to make Mojo the movie too as well. <laughs> <laughs> that what it is? I don't, I don't think. I feel like man. I'm not finished though. Uh, like I think there's one more thing I need to say. Well, what do you, well, I'm, I'm like just to trying to think. It. I'm just trying to think still. What the, the, the you know? I'm still I'm harping on my Mojo though yeah, here. Not my personal. I'm talking about my man, my my baby, my Mojo, the the villain. Over a beer. Huh? Did I go for a beer? This isn't Mojo related. Well, Raph doesn't have anything to say <laughs> about a, a new... I, no, you ain't going anywhere. Oh, baby. that's what I was going to say. Raph's yeah. got the prototype pants on. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing the Jinkos? Yeah. He's got the stretchy... Uh, I wore it to work. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my pajamas and my, uh, my work slacks. Mojo, that's huh? that's how he said it. Mojo, the, the voice. Mojo, yeah. Mojo, <laughs> Mojo, Mojo. <laughs> and it's uh, funny because I I never seen. I, well, he should I be the did. logo for our gentleman O class. Oh, podcast. oh yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told Rav, I was like, you know, at best I could make a short film, and I want to be Mojo. <laughs> you be and Mojo? I want to do the voice. Is like you know, like I don't know, just pictured high pitched voice sure, or something, sure. and. I, I I just can't recall. Maybe I did when I was younger, but I started looking him up like vo- who like voices in cartoons, and he has been in X Men series in the nineties. Oh, like, yeah? There's like so many like different ones, cartoons like, and like there's so many different people that voices, uh, you know, voice. I'm just trying to picture how he would sound, and uh, and I looked some up on YouTube, and he's got like kind of like a high pitched voice or kind of weasel. And that's kind of what I figured. And right, 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 you know, right. And uh, if I was to do a short film and, and be him, like, I'm just going to get the nasty prosthetics or just be fat. I don't know. Just yeah. I'm going to give you, like, a, a – have you, have you seen, like, when you looked at the pictures, like, have you seen when he actually rides in? Like, his little ma- – that makes a mobile. Octopus. Yeah, yeah, I am the – yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, I don't know. Um, I'm going to pull that. Maybe just get, like, a, a scooter. If I <laughs> That's just going to be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm telling you, people should back this up and make this movie because I'm right. <laughs> you are right. Mojo yeah. deserves this. He Paul just, is just, right. Justice, right. Justice for Mojo. Oh, man. Justice for Mojo. So I guess Raph didn't have any take on it. So. I thought he was already back. <laughs> We, you never heard of him at all, then. No, I never heard of Mojo. That's fucking hilarious. No, I never man. heard of Mojo. <laughs> I'm serious. Like I was digging deep and deep and deep. I was like, man, I couldn't find anything about like Mojo, like the movie in the works, Mojo yeah. villain, and blah blah blah. I couldn't find nothing. As, nothing. Much, as much as I was pissed off, I was like excited. Was like, yes, I can be the first one to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the one to introduce. Inter- yeah, to introduce Mojo the villain, <laughs> the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh god! Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, well he's not here. What would you? Uh, me, I like to see uh, made. I don't know if I want to say it though, because it's like I still want to do it. I should do it myself. Well, you want to be selfish? I, kind of I gave my million dollar away, my million dollar idea away. 
Oh, you want, do, you really, do, you know? do you really want to know? Yeah, yeah. I'll wait for Raph to get here. Um, so, Raph, you, you don't um, you don't know if you want to make a movie or anything. Like, if you have an idea and you want to make a movie. If but, I had a chance to make any movie I could make. Uh, you don't have to go into detail like Paul did here. Going yeah, no, I can't minutes. think of anything, to be honest. <laughs> I can't, yeah. You can't? No. Nah. Well, it's again, not I've like been that, working like, with Mojo with him for a while, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's actually kind of like our idea. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, he came up with the idea he wanted to make Mojo the movie. I just kept going along, and yeah, I, I came yeah. up with ideas for it, too, so. Hey, don't act like you're just saying it just to make it feel better. You want to do it just as much as I do. Yeah, you know. I do. I okay. do. All right, cool. So, <laughs> Even if that's a lie, I could take that. That's fine. I, I, I have an idea of, of a movie that needs to be made, and I have a, I know for a fact that we would all watch it. What's that? Okay. You guys want to hear it? Are you sure? Fucking name No. Do. Not no, no more. Not with that attitude. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Buttering and I want to hear Paul say he wants to hear it. If he doesn't want to hear say, it. Yeah, I want to hear it, yeah. Dude, can you imagine if they made a movie of, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Nothing? Of uh, the McPherson tape. Oh, motherfucker, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep now, man. Why? <laughs> The last podcast we did is when we talked about it. No, but seriously. No, okay. Dude, it'll be creepy as fuck. Yeah. Um, the McPherson tape. We talked about it already. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Last podcast. We don't need a recap. You want to know about it? Listen to the last episode. We're not getting into it. Lasers. No, Lasers and cows. Oh, Lasers, cows, beady eyes. Please go back to ah. Mojo. Ah. No, Please go um, back to Mojo. <laughs> There's um, some do- tormenting, <laughs> disturbing parts in there too. I've seen in certain uh, excerpts of comics. Yeah, with well, like alien taking your camcorder, like it's mine, <laughs> mine, <laughs> no. yours. So I mean, I'm, I won't go into detail about the McPherson tape. You guys can Google it um, and listen to of, the podcast from last time. Listen, yeah, <laughs> listen to the podcast from last time, but visually Google it. You know, there's different like renditions of it. Not Mojo the there's movie. there's one if you see if you see like a spaceship where like three aliens come out and like shoot lasers at, at whoever's like recording them that's the real one um, uh, yeah it is and that'll be a good uh, uh, movie I think that they should make <clears throat> like the events that happen and not like a first person type stuff or anything like that it'll be nice that if they can actually make a movie out of it where, like, okay, you see, they record the guy recording something. It's not like, oh man, it's the first person. I'm, I'm behind the, the camera. Where are you going, Paul? You need more beer. No, you don't need more beer, man. <laughs> you need more McPherson tape. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say we fucking bombard them with like fucking emails of the <laughs> McPherson tape uh, links. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna put a picture. Uh, uh, of an alien <laughs> on, on my dented projector screen that he did. <laughs> no, <laughs> but can, on his Facebook uh, wall, just put a bunch of reverse <laughs> screenshots. Hey guys, if, uh, whoever's listening to this, if you want, uh, go to Paul's Facebook and just throw some. <laughs> <laughs> Tag him with the McPherson tape uh, uh, gif or like, some, some meme or a picture. <laughs> he would greatly appreciate that, guys. You would love it, man. <laughs> McPherson tape. M C P H E R S O N tape. T A P E. fucking shit's on private, so. <laughs> well, it'll be our friends that will listen to it. I'm like, eh. Right. Starting with me. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. No, but seriously, that'd yeah. be a good movie. I think. You, okay. you, hey, Paul, you tell me you would not watch a movie. Oh man, <sighs> I think that they can make any great alien movie just by just going by the what, what, what pop culture. Travis Walton. Yeah, like Fire in the Sky. Actually, me and my dad were talking about that the other day. Well, yeah, his actual day. was well, his actual recount and and what uh, what he was. Well, I think we've talked about this too. Like what he was trying to do. <laughs> And then uh, what supposedly what the aliens look like, there was another... Was it because of uh, ID4? ID4. Like, well, there was certain... Like, the, the, way the, the way the aliens look like in, in Fire in the Sky... Well, in fry, Fire in the Sky, like, that's not what it, what it what they really look like, right? No. Uh, well, what I was told... Because... Like, they were humanoids. They looked like, like, right. like humans. And um, they, they just had, like, a bigger, like, 
eye socket, I guess you could say. It wasn't like they, they didn't look alien at all. They're like a blonde headed chick and a, and, and like a a guy, you know, a blonde headed guy or something like that. And yeah. So it was a little fabricating for Hollywood, you know. But I mean, because well, for like Mark for for uh, Mark Zuckerberg for what's called reasons for monetary. Well, because they fear that uh, uh, if they were to actually go what he said. But there was a movie that was out at the same time, and it's like we can't do it because they think we're gonna we're ripping them off. Was it, it like a, Cocoon it was or something like that? I don't know. I forgot what movie it was. You don't want to told me, and like, and for that very reason, they had to change the way the aliens looked in that movie. I told you this. Yes. Dang. <laughs> I, I don't remember this stuff. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, you told me this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but for years he's been he's been wanting to them to remake it to, to do that's it that right. way. That's right. He wanted him to remake. So, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, he now wants I like this. there's so many things they left out in there. Um. And that's yeah, that's inaccurate from the from the, the original film. Uh, yeah, just a lot more that's it, that's more important, especially the way the aliens looked. Yeah. So. Well, we're veering off on the McPherson tape. Oh. <laughs> hey, actually, I take yeah. it back. There is one movie I would like to be uh, like what? to see being made. It's a uh, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. You always but tell me about that. I thought they are making that. They're not making the movie, but they're making a live action TV series. And what's your take on that? I'm very skeptical. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off. How many seasons um, does Cowboy Bebop have? It's only one season. Yeah. It's a very it's a mini series. It's uh 26 episodes. That's <laughs> a it. Mini. mini. I know. I like that's a haul, man. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's it. There's no like season 1, season 2. It's just 26 episodes. That's it. Is that's it considered good. a mini series That's then? good. Yeah. That's weird. Are you sure it's good. Usually mini series is like good, 4 man. or 5 episodes. It is How come it only went one season then? Because uh, they, they didn't need to go, you know, what's it called? Like, whole, stretch out the... Uh, it's already, the story was already the complete. Story, yeah, the story is complete with just six, uh, 26. And that the, the, the beauty of it is they don't go, like, um, like so much details into certain characters' past. Like, the main character, Spike, we know that he was part of the a syndicate, but they don't go too many details on why he joined the syndicate. You know, what brought him to that? Uh. We just know... Okay, he was part of a big or, um, organization that was, you know, dealing with crime. He was a hitman. That's all you need to know. Right, right, right. Let your imagination run wild of what he did. And now, you know, he's a bounty hunter mm-hmm. and, you know, stuff like that. So that's why it's just damn good. Interesting. Oh, very nice. Daddy likes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe I have to check that out, too. Um, maybe my ass. You're going to check it out. I, I will check it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, my I'll check out that ass. ass. <laughs> I'll check out that ass. Um, but um, that'll be discussed in future podcasts. Just do know that we're on a schedule, well, which um, we'll talk about. It, I guess the next podcast, McPherson tapes, um, oh. McPherson tapes. And, um, <laughs> but you know, Mojo! the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? Oh, you almost said it right. Well, Mojo, the it movie. Is. There it is. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire. Uh, Myself to do the narrating for the for the trailer, like to announce. I want I want to see Michael Shannon do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be great. <laughs> hey, Michael, who is this? Don't worry about it. You will pay it handsomely if you will say if you would please narrate my mojo the movie. I never realized that uh, Michael Shannon has two first names. Like, hey, Michael, what is it? <laughs> it's right? Shannon. It does. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, well, why uh, would Shannon have a guy voice? It's Shannon, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, goddamn it! Oh, yeah, but yeah. I call him in the late at night and I ask him to do it for me. And like, who is this? Don't, don't, don't fucking worry about it. Just he know. answers your phone calls with no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I call what's right going now? on, Paul? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, Paul? Yeah, just, yeah, I, need yeah. me, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Go, Mojo, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul. I can't do it. I can't do it. Michael he Shannon's just did voice. It. Just, I can't oh, do it. Michael Shannon's voice. Oh, okay. That's the way he do it. Oh, okay. I, I don't think. How he, would he I th- do it? I, I think he could do a Michael Shannon voice. I think anybody could do a no. Michael Shannon voice. He just cannot do his facial expressions. Oh, like, my God, like, my man. He yeah. looks like he's always pissed off all the time. He yeah, does a he great job. A man. Like, he kind of just looks he left and right. Great. He's uh, fucking great, yeah. man. He's yeah. one of the greatest actors. No, he's awesome. Hell yeah. Especially in Iceman. Hell yeah. Huh? In Iceman. Oh, yeah. Boardwalk. 
fucking yeah. uh, uh, um, Elvis and Nixon, man. Oh, yeah. That was fucking great, <laughs> man. I want to see that movie. It's, it's, it's a fucking great, great movie, yeah. man. That's not on... We, I had it, yeah, right? we have it on Voodoo. Oh, well, is it not you guys UV? have it on Voodoo because it's not UV. Ball. I guess it's not oh, UV. Yeah. No. Fuck. That's a good movie. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, but you see 99 Homes. Lucky fuck. 99 Homes. That's I didn't see that too. movie. That's a great yeah. one, actually. America's for the winners. America is for the winners. <laughs> America right now. Make America great. Yeah, Michael Shannon will do the, the narration of the trailer. Or, uh, or, or if not, it would just make just a, at least the announcement uh-huh. of saying the movie. Make Gentleman Mojo, the No movie Class. Again. Great. Great again. Yeah, Mojo, right. Mojo the movie, yeah. yeah. All right, well, um, we are in an hour and a half for this podcast, so I think I'm going to do some major editing to shut up, <laughs> <laughs> shut up uh, Raf and Paul. Just have his, <laughs> just Jake, you? Just me <laughs> only. Jake Show. Damn. <laughs> it's the Jake please, Show. Can, can, can you just uh, please give me one shout out for Mojo the movie, though, with the editing? Uh, yes, yeah, so I, 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 I would do it. Uh, oh, you want me to personally say it? Like, yeah, no, 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 not you saying Actually, that would be great if you could say it the correct way. I don't know how to say it. Mojo the movie. Yeah. I just you better do it I, right. I've been, been demonstrating it, right. it all fucking don't night. Say it if you can't do it right, I'm not saying Mojo. it. Mojo. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating I'm, it all am, fucking I am, night. I am backing this project up because I gotta, <laughs> I gotta do more research on Mojo. <laughs> I can't believe we're sharing the same fucking table right now. You say that shit to Because you know what? If someone came up to me like, hey, guys, I got one uh, production company that's going to fund your movie. Uh-huh. McPherson Tape or Mojo the Movie? I'll say McPherson Tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I'll say McPherson Tape <laughs> all day. And who I'm the like, fuck is going to come up and say, Starring hey, you Paul got- as no, the main actor. No, who, the fuck, who the fuck is hey, going to say? Is your, this is going to be your breakthrough, fuck man. That. If, had, if you had a turn of choice you're gonna be to the be alien. the star of a movie and be- it's the McPherson <laughs> Tape movie, would you do it? I want to be Mojo. No, no. no. <laughs> all you get is the McPherson Tape. I'll turn tape. that shit down. <laughs> Damn. You would turn it down? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they heard you. This is like an eight this movie too, man. Fuck that. You got like care. billions Channing, backing you Channing up. Channing Tatum's playing, you know, an alien. There's plenty of, <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of those opportunities. Yeah. Plenty of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Vin Graves is playing your dad. Uh, what's that chick's name? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that chick's name? Uh, the Baywatch. Uh, Alex. De- oh, is that the, the Dario? Dario? Dario. She's gonna be in it as your lover. And you get to do a nude scene with her? I don't want to do that. <laughs> but the alien is no. going to be there watching me. <laughs> God damn it. You're going to do this again? Leave, leave, leave me and her alone. Hey, Paul, you want to be a star? Take it off. God damn it. Take it off. This is like, this is like the fourth yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the fourth episode all over again. You fucking assholes. Leave my baby alone and me. So you'll still decline. Damn. Oh, man. Come on, man. The alien will love I, it. I would I would be a weasel. I would be a we- I would be a weasel. I would I would play ball up until that nude scene, then I would quit. After quit. that, dude, dude, see, <laughs> so you're under contract. Oh, you get sued. I don't care. I got my Mojo movie to back me up. <laughs> it'll it'll, 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 it'll get me out of it. I don't, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. don't no, I don't give a shit. That's gonna be self finance. I got somebody else. Yeah, that's gonna be self finance. Self finance and self interest from other people. Lionsgate's out. Who's MTV other, Films is other in. People. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a terrible movie. MTV <laughs> films, <laughs> not even MTV. MTV two. Oh, <laughs> two headed dog. God yeah, damn, that's, what, that's what you get—a two headed dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh Fuck man. that! I want uh, what's that one movie? Unistar or even that production company? Fuck, I forgot. It was like in the eighties. It looked weird. The, the production thing was weird. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get them to or that or no, Orion's going to back me up. You remember Orion? Orion? I remember Orion. Yeah, yeah. I got Orion. Orion's going to back me up. <laughs> Mojo the movie, baby. Coming to you. Is Miramax still around? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, 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 no. no Miramax is not. No, I don't think it is. It's not? I don't think Maybe it is. It's the ones they used to back. What's it called? Ninja um, Turtles. Yeah, and what's it called? Uh Quinn Home Alone. Quentin Tarantino. Oh, and that's oh. the Weinstein oh. brothers. The well, Weinstein. before he was uh, Miramax. 
I thought that was a division. I'm not afraid I anymore. Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. Yeah. Did you hear me? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch <laughs> Alien. That's the thing I'm talking. I want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Why'd man. you have to bring her up? Now I'm thinking of Zac Efron. You know he's banging her. Why'd you oh, yeah, okay. He I, well, <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he is. you know, well, not banging her, but he, they're they're making love and uh, McPherson. 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 <laughs> Mc, how about that now? You're not thinking about her anymore now, are you? Oh, man. <laughs> I, think, I don't know what's worse, banging. man. Now you're thinking about aliens. You know, banging. honestly, I think I'm about to just gut out this whole podcast and just get the last 10 minutes of right? it. McPherson <laughs> tape. <laughs> the McPherson tape episode. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot to record some of this. Oh, well. Too bad. Oh, well. Too bad. Okay. It's all right. Yeah, let's cut this Alien up. interview. Big screen. It's Paul sleeping, waking up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that asshole. He's going to be in the back making those noises because he can't Speaking hear shit. Speaking of which, oh, man. What? have y'all ever seen that video of an alien talking? I guess, I don't know if it's another language or in English, but there's subtitles to it. And people are saying that this is real. And um, they're saying that what it is is that they're really here to to help us, but we're going to kill ourselves anyways because of a, of a nuclear war. It's I kind. Of, it. I just uh, I was on it, it, dude. It, it, I was I was literally in bed going through Facebook. Just the lights were off, but I still watched it. And uh, uh, you got to send me this. Link. And, and um, it was on my Facebook feed. But the only reason I watched it because Megan's next to me. Because if I'm going down, <laughs> we're going down. <laughs> you know, because it's like you know it. it, it it's crazy because I still get scared shitless, but when I when I know there's someone next to me, like my wife, uh-huh. it's just like you it's know, okay. It's you okay. Can <laughs> no, it's just, no, it's the truth, and, and, it's, and it's weird, you know. I know I'll be scared shitless, you know, sleeping in this room by myself, so you might want to have Raph sleep with you or whatever. If you're gonna crash tonight here, because <laughs> I'm throwing some alien interview on. Hell yeah, I'm done with that. I am very done with that. McPherson but tape. before but before we do it. <laughs> you know that. Then I'm down. Now I want the McPherson. And then I'm down to watch the McPherson. <laughs> you know what? Let's uh, keep it alien night. Alien Let's do night. it. Paul is pissed. And we can get some Taco Bell while we're at it. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a new one that's open right here. I hey, know. by the way, it's an hour, an hour and a half in. We're, we're, actually, beer. Dude, we're about to be touching two hours. You said that an hour and a half ago. What the fuck? <laughs> mind. All right, guys. Well, um, be prepared. Um, it's not going to be this long. Uh, th- this is our first podcast, you know, coming yeah. back, and that's why it's this long. But it's not going to be this long in the future po- uh, podcast. Just bear with us. Why? Huh? No, go on. <laughs> I was going to say, why are you letting people know it's not going to be this long? Well, because I don't think going to editing. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think it's going to be edited that much. It's going to take out like and the raff. Just taking those out. Yeah, uh, every, <laughs> every time it says Raph, you're going to take it out. No, oh, fuck you. You're just going to omit me. <laughs> but, so, omit yeah. everything I said. But uh, yeah, um, till next time, uh, I'm Jake. And Mojo the movie. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Paul. And I'm Raph. And our guest, Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 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 no. I am Raphael. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, just just look out for Mojo the movie. <laughs> it is a gentleman no class. Now. Oh.